If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that my development team has been working on creating the best Minecraft end update add-on for the game. And today, I'll be sharing some progress updates with you, as well as announcing some very exciting things at the end of this video. So if you watched my last video, you'll remember that we've been working on making the Enderlax forest look even better than before by updating all of the textures, creating brand new trees, and more. And now with all of these changes, we now need to make this biome naturally generate in the game. But instead of boring you guys by talking about the countless hours, days, and weeks that it took to get all of this working, I'll just show you guys the finished results. And with that, we finally have the entire biome naturally generating. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how this biome looks inside of the game. The Enderlax forest will spawn fairly frequently on the bottom layer of the end islands, which should make it fairly easy to find. We have been working to make the new generation of this end as polished as we can, and we are also working to make this new generation accessible, even for low-end devices. You can now go into the settings of the add-on to change the intensity of the generation, all the way up to what you see now, down to a more simplified version of the generation that will run much better on certain devices. There are also two other options in between the highest and lowest settings, so there are plenty of options to support the device that you'll be playing on. While this biome is near being completed, there are still a few more things that my team will be adding to it. One of these things is a brand new structure, the Crashed End Ship. These will spawn very rarely in the Enderlax Forest, and will contain loot very similar to what you find in a regular End Ship, except there won't be an Elytra for the player to find here. Now, I have a few quick and exciting announcements to make on this add-on. First, there is now a beta version of this add-on available to download, and will include everything you've seen in this video. Make sure you read the install instructions of the add-on, as there are some very important things noted there. And secondly, while development has been slow for this add-on recently, we are still working on some really new and exciting features, such as new types of end cities, and a brand new Minecraft boss for the end dimension. Also, none of this custom end generation would have been possible without Zroki, a member of my development team. Make sure to leave a comment down below saying thank you Zroki, to show your appreciation. If you want to see all of these features for yourself, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss them. 